Hey, friend, Chris Vandiver here from WideLogicProRules.com, the website that helps you get the most you can out of Apple's Logic Pro. With only a couple of weeks left in this year of 2021, I thought it would be cool that the next set of videos leading us into the new year could be a bit of a countdown for those of us who have never tried out Logic Pro. Maybe this is you, maybe a friend, you own a Mac, you're a musician or a producer or a mix engineer, and you have a familiarity with Logic Pro, maybe even a minor interest, maybe a huge interest, but you just haven't had a chance to check out Logic Pro. These videos are for you. Today's video is going to be the top 10 reasons why I think producers and beat makers should check out Logic Pro. This is going to be a rapid fire list of my top 10 things. And I can't dive too deep into any one of these, but I'll include links in the description below if you want to dive deeper into any one of these top 10 items. Also, if you're not familiar, Apple offers a free 90-day trial of Logic Pro. It's not in the App Store. You got to go to Apple's website, to the Logic Pro page. I'll also link to that. So if you want to check out Logic Pro, all the instruments, plugins, everything, it's there for you for three months. So I'll include the link below. Check it out. Let's dig into this list. Number one in our top 10 list of why producers and beat makers should check out Logic Pro, Live Loops. It's amazing how much music production has evolved over the years to the point where all you need now is a laptop to create amazing music. I mean, quite literally, you don't need real instruments anymore. You don't need even a microphone anymore because the new Macs come with a studio grade, brilliant sounding microphone built into them. So instead of writing the song first and then recording it, you need a way to capture your creative ideas and test them out so you can write the song. And that's what Live Loops is all about. Live Loops is a nonlinear sketch pad where you can input or record or perform any track type, whether it's audio or MIDI or patterns or drummer, and you can then test drive those ideas just by clicking on the individual cells in the grid or play the entire scene top to bottom by clicking on the scene markers at the bottom. Either way, you're able to play any type of audio on a loop and everything stays in time with one another thanks to the quantize start function. And then once you arrive on an arrangement that you're happy with, you can enable performance recording, hit record, and then as you tap on cells and scenes, it will be recorded into the tracks area, from which you can then continue on in a more linear songwriting way. Number two, the drag and drop samplers. I feel like a lot of folks don't know that Logic Pro has fully embraced drag and drop workflows, and it's most evident when you start working with samples and samplers. You can grab a sample or multiple samples from anywhere in Logic, outside of Logic, and you drag those samples to the track header area in Logic Pro. And when you drag them over, you'll see a pop-up offering you different types of sampler instruments you can create with those samples. The options we have, number one is Quick Sampler, which is a simple and easy way to work with a single sample, playing that sample up and down in pitch across the keys or slicing it up and chopping it up in a way so you can play those individual slices across the keys. We have Sampler, which is a multi-sample behemoth where you can drag a whole bunch of samples into it and those samples will be identified for their pitch and their velocity and laid out across the keys. We also have Drum Machine Designer, which is not necessarily a sampler itself, but you can drag in a drum loop and the loop will be chopped up and placed across the pads in the instrument or a whole bunch of drum samples and those will be placed across the pads as well. And then we have Alchemy, which is a synth, but also has a sampler built into it. Number three, there's a huge selection of instruments that come with Logic Pro. There's 25 in total, all of which I think are noteworthy for one reason or another, but I'm just going to hone in on a couple. First, we have Alchemy, which is a powerhouse synth that allows you to combine up to four sources using any combination of spectral or additive granular synthesis plus sampling. And it comes with a built-in effects chain. You're able to modulate just about anything across the synth. It has an arpeggiator. You can get really deep into alchemy and it comes with thousands of presets. After that, we have drum kit designer, which is a brilliantly sampled drum kit software instrument. So for acoustic drums that sound human, that sound beautiful and real, we have drum synth, which is a really easy and accessible way to get stuck into drum synthesis. RetroSynth provides four classic synth engines from analog to sync to wavetable and FM. And then we have all sorts of vintage keys from a B3 organ to clav, Mellotron, electric keys as well. And just within the vintage electric keys, you have like 19 different sampled electric keys. I mean, there's just six Wurlitzers alone. It's amazing. Number four, the massive selection of royalty-free Apple loops that you can use in your own projects. 
Apple's own website says that Logic Pro comes with 13,552 Apple Loops. When I open the Apple Loops browser on my Mac, I see 28,989 items. Either way, that's a ton of loops and one shots and sound effects for you to use in your own projects. And it's not like Apple Loops are these static audio files that you can't manipulate in more fine tuned ways. I mean, when you drag an Apple Loop into your project, it will transpose itself and adjust its tempo to match the tempo and key of your projects. And there are four Apple Loop types. There's audio, there's software instruments, patterns, and drummer. And those last three software instrument-based Apple Loops, when you drag them in, they don't just come as an audio file. They come as a MIDI region, a pattern region, or a drummer region with the instrument, with the effects chain, with any send for auxiliary effects, all comes loaded into your project. So you have immediate access to the performance, to the effects, to the instrument, everything. And Logic Pro with the 10.7 update now has producer packs from some of the top names in the industry from Mark Ronson to Oakfelder to take a day trip. And you can even create your own Apple Loops. It's awesome. Number five is Logic Remote for iOS. One of the biggest challenges of creating music and writing music with a computer is how to get the ideas from in your head into the DAW as quickly and effectively as possible. And of course, we have USB controllers and keyboards and drum pads to help us with this. But Logic Remote for iOS just takes it to the next level. It's a free app you download to your iPhone or iPad. And it's not just a keyboard or a drum pad. It's like every control surface you could ever hope for wrapped into one. It provides multi-touch experience. You can literally reach out and touch the instruments and the live loops, etc. in Logic Pro. With the app, we have the Live Loops Launcher, which is much more natural and performative for working with live loops. You have a keyboard with smart controls with velocity-sensitive touch. You also have a drum pad and drum kit view, which again is velocity sensitive, multi-touch mixer. You can work with the plugins. I mean, it's awesome. And it, again, it's free. Number six is the step sequencer, which brings back classic hardware and drum machine workflows to a modern era. You're able to create patterns for any type of software instrument by inputting different steps into a step grid. You can adjust the step grid to as few as 12 individual steps or as many as 64. You also can adjust the step rate to any sort of no value, maybe 64 triplets. There's also edit modes where you can adjust the velocity or the note repeat or, you know, chance of an individual step. And this works not just for drums, but also melodic instruments as well. There's a handy monophonic mode for easy writing of bass lines and also a scale quantize mode where you can quantize the pitch of melodic notes or even drum pitches to match that of the key of your song. Number seven is flex pitch and flex time. It is crucial to be able to edit the timing and the pitch of your tracks, whether it be for creative purposes or corrective purposes. And flex is the engine that allows you to time stretch and pitch correct any sort of track, just about. So flex pitch is for adjusting the pitch of individual notes of a monophonic recording. So a single voice singing or performing a single note at a time. And you can adjust just about anything related to each individual note. Maybe the pitch drift in and out of a note or the gain of each individual note. So you can kind of stabilize dynamics. Also, you can adjust the vibrato and of course, adjust the center pitch of each individual note. So this would be very helpful for things like vocals. Flex time allows you to adjust the timing of different notes or transients in a recording. So you can both compress and expand recordings regardless of how it originally was recorded and there are modes like slicing for editing things like percussion and drums there's monophonic for adjusting bass and vocals in terms of timing polyphonic for more complex instruments like piano or rhythm guitar and also more creative effects like speed and tempophone number eight is take folders and track alternatives logic pro provides several systems that allow you to record multiple takes and then comp them together or just multiple creative ideas so you can flip through them very quickly in your arrangement. Take Folders is the most intuitive system where you record several takes and they're all just combined into a single folder, which you are then able to open that folder and then using quick swipe comping, you can make selections of the parts that you want as your comp. And so easy, so quick, you don't have to worry about fades or chopping things up, it's all done for you. And then Track Alternatives is much like Playlists, where you're able to record to several different track lanes, but they're all combined into the same track lane. And then you can flip through your different creative ideas back to back or even edit them together into a single comp as well. 
So track alternatives is great when you have several vocal ideas or guitar solo ideas, and you want to hear them back to back very quickly. Number nine is that Logic Pro comes with a huge selection of high quality plugins. Now you would probably expect Logic to have an EQ like the Channel EQ, which is a clean, transparent, parametric band EQ for cleaning up and fine tuning your tracks or the compressor, which comes with seven different compression types, many of which based on hardware analog compressors. But Logic Pro also comes with a vintage EQ collection, which is modeled and based on different vintage analog hardware EQs, as well with many filters and modulation plugins, but also the multi effects plugins, I think are of special interest. First, we have the fat effects multi effect, which is a saturation and coloring tool primarily for bass and drums, but can be used for anything. The fat effects comes with three different distortions that you can use in series as a bandpass filter, all sorts of compression models. It also has modulation, bass enhancer. There's so much you can do and you can rearrange all the different units. The step effects multi-effect plugin allows you to be as granular and fine tuned as you want with rhythmic effects for your different tracks. You can have up to 128 individual steps for things like panning, gating, or modulating the different controls around the plugin. You have things like reverb and delay and modulation. And again, you can rearrange the modules. And the Remix FX multi effect plugin provides a more performative real time effect experience, something like a DJ would use. So, anything from reverb to gating to bit crushing. And I love the Remix FX because you can kind of feel out different effect chains within the Remix FX and write it as automation on your tracks. And of course, Logic Pro offers nine different MIDI effects for working with your software instrument tracks from things like an arpeggiator to transposer, so you can make sure you're always in the key of your song as you're writing and performing melodic instruments. Also, the chord trigger, which allows you to play massive chords with a single finger across the keyboard. And number 10, I may have saved the best for last for many potential users, and that's auto sampler. If you are a hardware junkie, you have plenty of drum machines and synths and keyboards, you know that you can't bring all your sounds with you if you're going to collaborate or produce or work with someone outside of your studio. But what if you want to bring those sounds with you? Auto Sampler is a unique utility tool in Logic Pro that allows you to sample your hardware, external synths and drum machines and instruments. But not just that, you can also sample software instruments in Logic as well. You can even have plugin effect chains included in the sampling process using Auto Sampler. So you can add Auto Sampler before all your plugins so they don't have any impact on the sampling of your instrument or you can place auto sampler after the plugins to include those plugins when it samples your external or software instruments. So now your external instruments and software instruments can travel with your MacBook or with your Mac, regardless if you have that keyboard with you or that license with you. So those are my top 10 reasons why I think producers and beat makers should check out Logic Pro. I truly believe this. Logic Pro is awesome. If this video has been helpful for you, I highly recommend subscribing to the YouTube channel, Why Logic Pro Rules, or subscribing on the website itself, whylogicprorules.com. Every week I'm posting new videos, new emails, and posts to help you get the most you can out of Apple's Logic Pro. Thanks so much.